Oh, bless our God and never cease. You saints fulfill God's praise. Who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubtful ways. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, January 31st. It's the third week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 54, and Hebrews chapter 10, verse 11 to 25. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have left undone. We've not loved you with our whole hearts. We've not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, save me, O oh God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Alleluia, Psalm 54. Alleluia, save me, O oh God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and oppressors seek my life. They have not set you before themselves. Behold, you are my helper. You sustain my soul. You shall reward evil to my enemies. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, for it is good. For you have delivered me of all trouble, and my eyes have seen the ruin of my enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Save me, O God, by your name. Judge me by your strength. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, beginning at verse 11. And every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also testifies to us. For after saying, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts. I will write them on their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that be opened for us through the curtain, that is, through the flesh, his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and to good deeds, not neglecting to meet together 
as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you for your goodness and truth, O God Most High. Sustain our souls and deliver us from all enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.